But I think there's something about you guys who grew up out in the Midwest. There's something about, you know, just in the wintertime. I always bring this up when the crops are cut down yeah. and that overcast gray sky meets yes. that dead earth. Yes. It just does something to you guys. You guys all kind of have that serial killer vibe. Like you could oh, go. Definitely. You could go. Yeah. You, you know, come on. Pot, kettle, kettle. You, what, you're saying you don't come across like a serial killer? No. I, I, come, I, I come off like a hothead who's going to get killed in a bar fight. I'm going to hit my head off a curb. Oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't have that rusty farming tools in the background right. vibe I would that, have, that you Midwest people have. Like, I it's would have a sling blade, eh? like that shit. I would, have, I would murder people in an interesting way. It wouldn't be, it would be kind of, it would, you, like if you discovered, oh, Jim Gaffigan's been killing people, it would, there would be an interesting thing. Like, oh my God, he chokes them and then he jerks off on them or something. Like, well, that's be, serial, the serial killers are the right. artists. They of, are of, of murderers. They're the they're they're kind of the stand up comedians of <laughs> criminals, right? The serial killers, they are the stand up comedians. They're they're kind of they're unrecognized. They kind of they, they work, work their al- way up. They work alone, <laughs> right? They serial right. killers rather. I mean, outside of the Nazis, they they don't really work in groups. They're usually right. solo. They. They often, you know, like if they're, you know, Ted Bundy, he traveled. He would mm-hmm. go on tour. He the would, best ones, you don't really know their names. Right. The hacks, right. usually, you know, like they're always trying to like tease the police so they get their name right. out there. Like, you know, who was a hack was that BTK killer. Right. Because he named himself and then he was trying to get all his attention. Well, he also retired and then he came back and then he got busted. That right? was his so, ego. That was him kind of like... He, you know, like stand up, you have to consistently do it. Like when people take like 20 years off and then they come back and do a special, it's always a disaster. It's like when Jordan went to the Wizards. Right. So he came back and he was BT in, but he wasn't K in right. well. He, you know, it him. is, you know, the serial killer thing is, why do we, people love, it. by the way, women seem to love murderers. Like my they wife. find them fascinating. Right? Like they're all against like rude behavior but like my wife can't get enough of that dateline show right yeah my wife watches that the amount of times i've gone to sleep where i just hear that it was a quiet town right things like this weren't supposed to happen right they were in love until it, or, or so it appeared or so it appeared yeah no that why is that what's you know our my wife, wife claims that she watches it because she thinks, what would I do in that situation? And like, you know what I mean? I, I mean, I guess I, w- I, for a while, was watching those behind the scenes prison things, trying right. to come up with a plan of what I would do before I finally came to the obvious answer, which was I would get raped repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> that, I think we... <laughs> Uh, I, I don't I mean, think well, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you can't go from fucking now, is the that funny what bone you think would happen or is that what you would want to happen? I mean, you it's make a combination it so. of both. No, it's just, it's, but what if you, it's, I, I call it being a realist. Like every guy thinks that like I have, like I, I, I spent one night yeah. in jail, never in prison. Yeah. I got arrested yeah. for drinking and driving. And I had to sell to myself. I didn't have to fight anybody off. Yeah. So, yeah. like, you can't go... That's what always fascinates me with these fucking idiots who kill their spouse. It's like, yeah. you barely even cheated on your taxes, and now you're going to try to get away with the most difficult thing to get away with, right. where you're, you're, you're going to be one of the first suspects. Right. Who right. looked to profit. Right. 